from wherever you're watching us. This is the Friday edition of Sports Tonight. Good evening and welcome. I'm Yemi Adabayo. It's a very loaded weekend. There's a lot to choose from. But let's start uh, the week. Let's start you off this week uh, by starting this weekend with uh, what we have to offer today. We'll keep you on the edge of your seats. Uh, we hope to be able to um, educate you, entertain you, uh, much possibly inform you as well. Well, let's. Um, let me give you a quick rundown of what you, what's on offer this weekend. We have the Cap Champions League. We'll be doing a preview of the Cap Champions League on the show tonight. We will also uh, be talking about club football. Club football returns after uh, the international break. We'll be talking about that. Today's Friday. We'll give you a slice of chess on the show. Uh, we will also try to talk about the English Premier League. Uh, a, a lot of people putting their money on Antonio Conte losing his job at Chelsea. We'll be talking about that. And of course, the big one, Liverpool and Manchester United will also get our thoughts tonight on the show. Let me pause the little and bring you into everything that we're doing right here. Just in case you join us for the first time, you can get across to us on Facebook, this channel, so iPhone Sports. And if Twitter is your thing, you can get across to us uh, on that handle right there on your screen at channels underscore sports. You can also read all our top stories on www.channelstv.com. You can view those stories on youtube.com slash channels web. Now take it a step further, you go to m.channelstv.com and follow the prompt uh, if you have your iPad, your iPhone and your Blackberry and you do all of that, you have, you'll be viewing us live. You can also download the Channels TV app for your Android, your iOS and the windows from their respective stores all in a bid uh, to carry channel television with you everywhere you go you already know we're global we're international there's no excuse uh, to miss out on what is on offer on your award-winning channels television all right uh, let me really introduce my partner that starts off uh, the show uh, with me tonight he needs is a face uh, you're used to seeing and he leads little uh, or, or no um, introduction, uh, but it gives us the pleasure to uh, introduce to you Alfred Okolibe. Uh, nice to have you with us, uh, Alfred. Yeah, quite a while. Yeah. <laughs> it's a pleasure always to be here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> big, big, weekend, uh, big weekend on the continent. Uh, talk about the CAF uh, Champions League. Um, and l let me tell you that even while as we're having this discussion, we will um, allow uh, two people join us and uh, fill us in uh, with their thoughts. We will uh, go to France and, of course, also touch down in South Africa, so you just sit back and relax for that. But, but let me quickly get your thoughts quickly. CAF Champions League, uh, you have two, that's it on your screen, Mamelody Sundowns and Zamalek. These two teams have met twice already, and you know, the results favored one of the teams. Um, if um, you see these two names uh, at the beginning of the, um, the competition, you, you will so much doubt. You it. doubt if they will make it to uh, the finals of this competition. One being that um, for a club like Zama, like for a while, Al Ali has been dominating mm -hmm. football on the continent. I will know that in Egypt, for a while, it's been Al Ali all the way. For Sundowns, it's um, a story of this is a team that have ended the season. The players have booked their holidays. We're about to head out. When the club was disqualified, the team from Congo was disqualified and they were recalled back to the community on the eve of uh, the draws. And that's how they found themselves in the community. It reminds you of Denmark in Euro 92. In Euro 92, uh, yeah, when uh, Yugoslavia, all of the issues started and Denmark was called the last minute. No, they wouldn't do anything. They let's, the let's just see the way they play. I know we have the Dutch team that everybody thought. Fancy. They, they thought they were champion select just to do it on the field of play. And so it's becoming like a fairy uh, team story for Peter Mas uh, Masumani, the coach and the boys, something just keeps driving them. The, the teams that they got the results against are not just push pushovers on mm -hmm. the continent. They did it over our uh, only by international. They did a double against the team that they're going to this final. So they totally they deserve their place in that final. Whether they will be able to cross that final hurdle uh, is something that they'll have to okay. think very much about. All right. <laughs> okay. After let us pause it a while uh, and uh, quickly um, go to uh, Lofty Wada. He joins us now. Let me just tell you that Lofty is a big Zamalek fan and he's also a respected football uh, writer. Okay. Uh, all right, Lofty, good evening and, and welcome. Uh, good evening and thank you for your invitation. Yeah, I know you're a big uh, Zamalek fan, so let, let's quickly talk about uh, Zamalek. How are they preparing for this? How ready is the team? I think it would be a very tight encounter considering that uh, for me and since uh, five, four, five, 
for five years, I think the level is pretty mediocre and it's not the, the best teams which are reaching the final, but the least, the least mediocre. And I think, yes, it will be a tight game and for Zamalek, they have quite uh, problems in their, in their lists because, you know, they have, a, they have, a, they have get rid of many players in the, in the summer transfer, summer transfer uh, window as, as usual uh, in Egypt and in North Africa and they had only and they only I think they have only 17 uh, players which can play so and they have already many um, they have already many players who could who could miss the okay. final the return leg the final return leg uh, they they won they beat uh, El Nasr in uh, in their first Egyptian league game 2-0 uh, where, where they played mostly uh, a second string team, you know, made of the new, freshly new thing player. So yes, and now they have a, a big chance to to finally end the 14-year drought okay. after long years in uh, in Al Ahli uh, shadow. All right, let, let me quickly ask you this: Will, will home advantage be a factor uh, for Sundowns um, tomorrow when the, when, when the final uh, is played? They've beaten Zamalek twice uh, already. Um, will that be a factor tomorrow, or you think Zamalek will forget what happened um, in the group stage and just go uh, into into this one and and you know probably get a result? I think it will be a, yes. I think Sundowns will have a certain. Psychologic, psychological advantage considering that they managed to beat Zamalek twice home and away but uh, now it's a final you know and Zamalek have this uh, and Zamalek as Sundowns has this have this will to to break the dock and to break uh, for instance for for Sundowns to work, to finally win it after years and Zamalek to add a six uh, to add a six crown and the six star to their tally after being years in uh, an early shadow. So, yes, I think it will be pretty tight and, uh, I, yes, pretty tight and probably, uh, I think, yes, yes, pretty tight, yeah. All right, let, let, before we let you go, let me quickly um, ask you this. Zamalek, five-time champions uh, on the continent. Will experience count um, on that day when uh, both, both teams play? With the experience of playing a big game in the final, Will it count for Zamalek? I think in a certain part, yeah, because you know Zamalek, some Zamalek after years, because for years and years, I think uh, Zamalek didn't, for, for instance, even reached National Cup uh, final, and now they are playing finals, even if, if they are only, you know, finals of, uh, of National Cup, uh, Egypt Cup. It was, I think this made the, the experience, and I think also the experience will come from the from the ridiculous uh, return leg against uh, Widad, in which they were very, very, and even extremely close to be kicked out after a formidable effort from Widad, and uh, fin and after your countrymen, uh, after that, your countrymen, uh, Stanley Ohawishi, uh, sent the, the deal and uh, and uh, and ended the pressure and uh, and with that chances so yes they have a, a certain uh, advantage as you know as they have also the return leg in uh, in egypt but uh, i think they will definitely need to score tomorrow in uh, in south africa if they want to have chances because uh sundowns are, are as good away as as they are at home so it will be a very tight encounter all right um let me allow you to leave us with a prediction. You're, you're a Zamalek fan. It, it's very difficult. But what possible outcome? What, what could happen tomorrow? If I ask you to give us a prediction, what would you say? I would say 2-1 for Sundowns. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we'll, we'll do this again another time. Love to Wala. Thank you for your time. Uh, we hope to do this again. And we'll see if your prediction is right. I'm very sure that didn't come from your heart. You want Zamalek <laughs> to win. But we'll wait to see. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll do this again some other time. Thank you. Okay, that was um, our friend, um, Lofty Wada, uh, based in France, but a big, I mean, African football writer, big Zamalek fan. It takes a lot for a fan to look at his or her team and say, my team will lose. But, but, but there's something crucial. He's saying for Zamalek to still be in it, whatever happens, they have to score.
uh, in South Africa. It's important that they get the goal. It makes the second leg a bit easier. And um, considering um, the issues, the problems they're having at home, um, talking about Egyptian football, if, uh, as in allowing the fans to be part of this, they just received uh, for Zamalek uh, a few days back, the government gave them approval to allow only 20,000 fans for the finals. I know what that means. We are pushing for a hundred thousand. But you know but recent history. Recent giving recent history in Egypt. So about twenty thousand fans, I'm sure that at the end of the day it will be like say like thirty or forty because mm -hmm. they will have to exceed all of that. So it's important that they score because the advantage of scoring first, when you say his team is gonna lose two goes to I mean talking about other spread uh, predictions. Two goes to one, it's like for the home team, I can tell you uh, for the team that wins two goes to one at home they will not feel comfortable because yeah. they know what the way goes. Uh, it's really like walking so on thin eyes. Very, very break. thin eyes. And, uh, you know, uh, what it is about goals, the moment you concede, you just the pressure just find a way of um, uh, just piling. And like you saw there, like some of the footage you, sh you showed there, Ejimba held their own against Amalek too late. When they, the moment they consider that penalty, yeah, that, that, was, went down. That, was, that was just it. But, but let, let me quickly ask you what, what I asked him. Experience on the big stage. This is going to be two things crucial that, that I want to talk about. Home advantage on one side, and experience on the big stage. Um, how are those two factors uh, going to you know decide who, who eventually wins? If you look at uh, both teams realistically, I would think that um, they're coming from the same experience. Yes, yeah, Zama like uh, in time past, yeah. were dominant on the continent. Mm -hmm. uh, when the likes of uh, even our own um, Emmanuel Amuniki played Play for, for them, them when he left here. Yeah. In time past, but you know that their history in Egyptian football is like uh, Rangers of old. It's called being completely dominated of late uh, by Al Ali. They are, of course, if you want to look at uh, given the number of um, titles they've won, they are the more illustrious team in in, in Cairo now. So for them, so the experience, ex will, experience not, will not even at this level. It will not be a factor. It will not be a factor. But I think one other thing they will have going for them is that they know that the last time a South African team made it to the final, that was Orlando Pirates, led by um, uh, Desa. Uh, not not that, two, uh, 2000 and, um, uh, two, three years ago. Okay. okay. Yes, the Pirates team got to the final against El Ali. El Ali beat them uh, uh, to lift, the, to lift the, the, the trophy. So for them, we've done it. I mean, the Egyptians uh, the, and the Egyptian team did it over the South African team. So that in itself may be one advantage because for the South Africans, they got to that final. Everybody expected so much from that Pirate team. But when it mattered most, they couldn't cross that line. And, and that's the point somebody was making for South Africa that um, the Sundowns team this time around is perhaps better prepared than the Paris team that played in the finals of two, three years uh, back. Okay. And home advantage, will, will it be a deciding oh, factor? Oh, it, it, it will surely be. Uh, one thing that the Sundowns team, I was just reading through some of the teams that they did going into this game, they reduced the gate tickets, uh, the gate fees for this game for uh, the reduced to uh, 40 rands. Yep. Uh, 40 rands, if you're putting on an Orlando, I'm sorry, uh, a Sundowns jersey, you pay 20 rands. If you're not putting the jersey to the stadium, you pay 40 rands. If you're a kid under 10, on the jersey you enter free. If you're not putting on the jersey, you pay 20 rands. That, so they've encouraged fans to yeah. really turn out in their numbers um, to to cheer this team because in South Africa, it's really, not every day. It's yeah. not every day that I make it to the to, to the African. You have Champions to make it final. count when you do. You have to really make it I was, count. I was reading um, some some things from the club website, and they're saying uh, they want to make the Lucas Moripe Stadium as intimidating as, as as it can be, uh, probably with the vote. That's why the brother the, 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 gate, the gate fees and they reduce in such a way that, and they want to encourage their fans. I think that's one thing we should we, we should be looking around here. If the fans come to the stadium in the club jersey, hey, they pay half of the money. Okay, uh, that's good. Uh, we'll see how all of this goes. Uh, it's still summer, talking about these things, and not being able to talk about a Nigerian team. Mm. It still kinds of leave a uh, bit of taste in your mouth. But hopefully, um, we will, in, in a year or two, be talking about a Nigerian team probably playing the Calf Champions League final. Let's go for a